Hey there guys, welcome back to your Football Manager channel. I'm FM Pepe and this is the Celtic series. And today, a little bit different. Let's have a little look. Now, we see here on the coaching staff, FM Pepe, the manager. My assistant manager is Mr. Monkey. Surprise! Yeah, surprise Mr. Monkey. There you are, my assistant manager. And Rhys Dale, the head of youth development. Find me some absolute stunners, Reese. Now, director of football is David Neo Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Martin Bailey is the technical director. And Spencer Cutter is the chief scout. And James Murray is the head physio. So, hang on, edit nickname because I didn't put capitals. How disrespectful of me. I didn't put capitals on their name and that is just going to kill my OCD if I don't do it. So there's James Murray, head physio. Let's have a little look. Martin Bailey. What a tash. What an absolute tash, Martin Bailey. Eric nickname. There we go. It will drive me crazy if I don't... I, it's bonkers. There we are. So... Now when I look at them, their names come up properly. Thank God. Right. Now, transfers. It is the 9th of January, so transfers have been happening. Let's have a look at all of them. We've got Redouan Halal. Halhal. Redouan Halhal. There you go. Um, player that we're developing. I have no idea where he came from. Um... He's going out on loan and we're going to get um, nine grand a month for him playing. It's going to be a regular starter at centre half. They're going to pay 100% of his wage. He's going to Dundee United. And we'll get seven grand if he doesn't play. We've turned down offers for McKenney, Tanali, and Gramerez. Barry Kofi, a young player, and Gerard Vasquez also going out on loan. We're getting 3,400 quid for Vasquez. Oh, hang on, his loan ends. Sorry, his loan is ending. Barry Kofi's going out on loan for 1,300 quid a month though. Thiago Almada. Yeah, Thiago Almada is going out on loan. They're going to pay 100% of his wages. 100 grand monthly fee, 100 grand playing monthly fee. And he's going to be a regular starter. He's going to Stuttgart in Germany. Um, to basically... Get a bit of game time. And Ryan Christie is off to Arsenal. They've offered 150 grand a month. His wages are 32 grand a month. So we're going to make some money on that. Uh, they did want a, a fee where they could sign him. Um, but I basically said no. Um, go to the Premier League, perform well. And then happy days. Uh, we've turned down an offer from Shen Shanghai Shenhua for him as well for 11 million. Rising to 16 and a quarter million. And here is uh, an interesting transfer. Emmanuel Venato, the young lad we've got. 100% um, of his wages being paid by Paris Saint-Germain. They're offering 100 grand a month regardless whether he plays or not. Um, so... <laughs> You might ask yourself, why am I letting Venato, Christie and Almada go out? Well, truth of the matter is, if I can get 350 grand a month coming in, um, that's going to help massively because uh, finances, we've got three and a quarter million left. Um, our wage budget is 993 grand. Um, we're currently spending... Oh, one million and sixty-five thousand. Um, so we're seventy thousand over the wage budget. I need to bring that down. Um, yeah, I really, really need to bring that down. So that's the reason why they're going out. They're also going to get a bit of game time, hopefully, um, and that should help them out. There is another transfer that's taking place. Um, let's see, 
where is he? It was Alexander Isaac who was going out on loan, um, I think to Spain, hang on. Olivier Cham, do we have a sell-on clause on him? Rode another two instalments, 1.16 million. Choose seller clause will receive 904 grand. Um, we get, well we get that in six months so let's let's keep that payment coming in that's a sensible thing to do um yeah so alexander isaac is uh on his way uh, because i need to give him some game time and he needs to develop let's see unavailable there he is he's gone to olympic marseille so Olympic Marseille paying a hundred percent of his wages, um, but um, let's see they're also paying us. Um, he has a minimum fee release clause. Right. Let's let's get rid of that. Um, Stress promises, finalise promises, negotiate contract. Ooh. What's he on now? 36 and a half grand. Alright, he's on that. Um, loads of bonus agents. So there's no release clause in there, is there? Right. Right, that gets rid of the release clause, I think. Because I can't see it there. Good. Oh, okay, we could have lost him a bit cheap there. Um, yeah, so he's going to go there for um, his wages. And I think um, we're getting good money. Let's see, transfers out. Oh, come on. Shuffle. Right. I think we're getting 150 grand in for him a week. Anyway, so that's that's the main thing that I'm doing. Just trying to bring a bit of money in because we are broke. And there is a little bit of news about Andre Onana, the goalkeeper. He has signed. However, um... <laughs> I kid you not. Um, he's at the African Cup of Nations until the 2nd, or I think maybe the 7th of February. Um, so we can't play him for four weeks. Thank you, Ajax, for telling us. Uh, now we're going to go to the Bayern Munich game. It is a friendly. Uh, result doesn't matter. So we're going to play our kids. Leo Connor has come back from loan, so he's going to go right back. He's had a good spell out um, on loan. He'll play with Julian, McKenna and Taylor in defence. And they'll play in front of Semper. Tonali and Luis will play in midfield. Uh, we got Dembele, Ahataran and Mikey Johnston. Uh, playing behind Shane Morris, our new gen uh, striker. And if he can get his head on that. No. Johnston picks it up though. Goes past the lava, shoots. Oh, it's over. Um, they have Neuer, Kimmich, Sul, Pavar, Alaba, Weigel, Cousins, Thiago, Nabri, Coutinho, and Lewandowski. So they're taking it a bit serious because they got Muller, Lorente, Arp, Boateng, Goretzka, Xerxes, Taliso, Hernandez, and Nubel on the bench. And uh, fire Arp. He's a quality young player. Um, let's see. A sign of scout. Scouting pool. It's all full knowledge. He's a quality player. He's one of my Wonder Kids in the Wonder Kids series. Boys, get creative. Come on. 
So this is just a friendly, so it's a bit of a boring game. There's very few opportunities, only six opportunities between us. We are playing very attacking. Oh, um, I, pff, we've just fast forwarded the uh, team talk. That's the assistant, make some changes. Thank you, monkey. Get creative, boys. Looks like they're playing well. We're not so well. However, um, they're making one or two changes. Okay, they've made quite a few changes. Still nil nil. Oh my word. Right, Jared Bowen has come back from injury, so he needs to play. Um, Afalabi has come back from loan, so he needs a game. Uh, Ryan Fredericks also needs a game. Blair Henderson needs a game as well. Um, we'll play Afalabi and Henderson there. Um, Thiago Almada, go on, we'll, we'll give Mikey Johnston a rest because he looks knackered. Uh, Bruno Gamares bring on for Luis who looks like he's shocking and let's see Camavinga for Tonali and maybe Findlay um, yeah Finley for Julien and Miranda for Taylor and Bain for Semper. So we'll leave Scott McKenna on there. Oh my god, I brought on Jordan Larson at left back. Oh, that's a mistake. Um, oh boy. Um, right. That should have been Juan Miranda. Let's play him at right wing. Let's play Jared Bowen at left back. Because that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Here's Bowen on the right wing. Oh, tackled. Oh, wins a corner for us. Bowen crosses. Gramarez. That's one of the few highlights we have. Back to Finley. McKenna plays it forward for Blair Henderson, who nods it on for Afalabi, but. Oh well. Nothing happening. Um, McKenna got booked. Let's bring on. Juan Miranda. And then, if we're doing that, let's put Bowen on the right wing. Um, I feel I'll be up front. And Miranda on the left. Oh my god. A lot of tactics going on here. Right. 3 2 5 against Bayern Munich. For the last five minutes or so. And let's uh, tell them to push forward. It's Scotty Bain. And Muller has it. Thomas Muller to Taliso. Kimmich. Running down the right wing. 
He crosses Finley with the header. Taliso over the bar. It's going to be nil nil. How are they frustrated? I put five people up front until you'd have pushed forward. Here's Henderson putting one in. Oh, Jordan Larson steals it. There you go, boys. There you go. 1 0 against Bayern Munich. I am a tactical genius. Right. Tighten up. 1 0. There you go. Always try to win the games. Always. Even if it's a friendly. Jordan Larson, you diamond. Well done, lads. That's brilliant. Fan Dabby Dozy. We've got the Clyde game. Scottish Cup fourth round next. Just beat Bayern Munich at home. 1-0. Oh my days. Well, Reesdale, David Neo Anderson, James Murray, Spence the Cutter, Martin Bailey, Mr. Monkey. Thank you very much uh, for following the series and uh, basically enjoying it. And I hope um, you enjoyed it as much as I am because it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun winning every week, but also having the challenge of winning every week. Uh, and being able to experiment a little bit as well. Usually when I do saves like the Journeyman. I probably lose about half my games. <laughs> and and then sort of draw a few. I probably draw maybe 10%. Lose 50% and then win 40%. You know I, I do lose more than I win Journeyman. Um, and it's sometimes you know fun. Other times really frustrating. Like bang your head against the wall frustrating. So, lucky Celtic, unlikely victory. Oh, pee off. Right. David Neil Anderson, director of football. Been scouting players, have you? Spencer Cutter finishes scouting Maximenko, a Russian goalkeeper. He was a sweeper keeper. All right. Good player. Six foot two. 22 year olds not a bad player right Blair Henderson um, can you try and make a move happen brilliant Shenwa make an offer it's rejected um, they want coffee on loan if they can afford his wages they can have him um, Leipzig, £12 million offer rejected, as it should be. Let's go to the Clyde game. Okay, so to play Clyde, we're going to play our um, least um, sharp side, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of players here who need match fitness. Now, um, looks like Ross County... They've signed Daniel Church, a young left back, on a free. Looks like they're raiding us because they got Ander Berengstia, I think that's his name, um, from us on loan as well. Um, where he is? Ander Berengstia. There you go. So he's gone on loan for them. Um, Daniel Church is just signing for them now, so. Uh, looks like they've raided a couple of our players. They will be paying his wages. Um, which is unusual for them because his wages are quite high. Um, however, Daniel Church's wages, I think, were 800 quid. And he's now gone for 650 quid. Blimey. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. We'll see what happens. But... Um, Ryan Christie's gone out on loan to Arsenal as well now, so that is a good thing. We've offered a job to an under-18s coach. Nothing else has changed, really. Um, we're going to play Afalabi and Larson up front against Clyde. Um, I don't know what Clyde are like. I don't think we should bother even caring. Um, we should just go and beat them. 
Now I am going to play um, a really strange centre half partnership here because we've got very few centre halves actually fit. Um, let's see. We've got Lee O'Connor, who's normally a right wing back or right back. He'll play centre back. And we've got Eduardo Camavinga. Who I think will do him good to get a bit of a game. Um, he's normally a deep line playmaker. So I think we can play him there. Um, Bruno Gramares. Do you know what? We could probably play Bruno Gramares there instead. And he looks a little bit better. Yeah, ball playing defender. Let's do that. Let's have him as cover. And... Deep line playmaker defence. So we'll have Camavinga and Tanali in midfield. Um, Frederick, O'Connor, Gomez, and Miranda across the back with Bain in goal. Out wide we'll have Mikey Johnston and Jared Bowen. We've got uh, Jordan Larson and see, Jonathan Afalabi up front. Now McKenny is returning to fitness imminently. But I think he's already fit so I'm just throwing him on the bench. Let's see. A couple of numbers for the players. We've got Ross Dewan on the bench as well. Um, young goalkeeper. As well as O'Donnell, Finley, Dembele, McKenney, Keane and Henderson. Right. Here we go. Celtic versus Clyde. The season's just about to get up and running, so this Bayern Munich game and the Clyde game will serve as our friendlies, if you like. Oh, I've accepted an offer of four million quid for Ryan Fredericks, because we got Leo Connor, and Anthony Ralston, um, and Stephen O'Donnell, so I don't need Fredericks anymore, and I do need to take players off the wage bill, uh, particularly because Andre and Nana. Cost a fortune. And Alton Edward's got a new contract. As Afalabi hits the post. Um, so yeah. I'm just trying to manage the finances a little bit here. Get a few players out and loan. Get them playing regular. Oh Leo Connor with the header wide. Um, Alexander Isaac went to Olympic Marseille. Scored on his debut. And had man and match performance. So that's good. Come on boys, here's Ryan Fredericks to Larson. Inside for Miranda who walks onto it. Shoots wildly wide. Mm. That praise didn't do too much there did it? Ryan Fredericks looks like he's injured. Oh well, I'm going to have to sub him. Because if I don't, oh, Jared Bowen with a goal. There you go. Yeah, if I don't sub him, then he's probably going to fail his medical. So we'll bring on Stephen O'Donnell for him. Oof, that's not good. Let's hope it's just a bruise or something. So Miranda giving that to Bowen. Good left foot finish at near post. Beats McKay. Here's Tonali. Goal. Oh no. Whips it over. O'Donnell. Down to Larson. Inside to Tonali. Out to Miranda. Goes past his man. and It's an absolute screamer. Third goal of the season for Juan Miranda. 2-0. Well, at least they held out longer than Rangers. <laughs> One Miranda. Oh, normally it's side netting, but not this time. Back of the net this time. Leo Connor hits the crossbar. Pryor clears it. Good tackle by O'Donnell and Goodwillie. So David Goodwillie, former Blackburn striker. Ah, there you go.
Well, Miranda to Tonali. Beats his man, crosses. Jordan Larson with a volley that saved. And then he, I think, oh, the ball stopped on the corner flag. Get creative, boys, come on. They've not had a single shot on goal yet, Clyde. But Larson, oh, had a save by McKay. Out for a throw in. Bowen crosses. Larson, oh, can't get to it. Bowen gets a second chance to cross. Now, I think Bowen's uh, knackered. He looks injured on the field there. Clyde going to get an opportunity now. Good Willie. Shots blocked. Bruno Gamares. Oh, Taylor's pushed over our player. Afalabi, I think. Oh, it's a red card. Cameron Taylor is off. Bruno Gamares putting one in. Larson's fouled in the box. Jared Bowen's going to take the penalty. Left footed. Oh, McKay saves. McKay's having a game of his life. The ignomer, ignominy of. Uh, oh, Johnson with the other. Ignominy of the uh, Jor Jared Bowen uh, missed penalty there. That's me. I'm, I'm never using big words again. Never using big words again. Mr. Monkey. Anything we say now would just overcomplicate things. Send the lads out without saying anything extra. I want to I wanna honestly do what you ask, but I can't. Um, aggressive. Far for please what I just saw. Give him a bollocking. Give him a bollocking monkey. Shout at them. They're all fired up. O'Donnell with the throw into Camavinga. Crosses for Johnston. Oh, just wide. I can see this sodding thing ending in a draw. If we don't push. O'Donnell for Johnston. Mikey Johnston, 3-0. Just as I said that. <laughs> Mike Johnston steps up the seventh goal of the season. Where's his other sits been? He's been injured. Hmm. Jared Bowen. Back to O'Donnell. And uh he looks for Larson, finds Afalabi, shot is blocked. Larson picks it up, crosses it back to Johnston, gets his second of the game. What a finish that is. Eighth goal of the season by Mikey Johnston. We've been playing Angel Gomez, how has he got eight goals? Four nil. Well... Boys are doing well. Let's praise them. There's one Miranda. Coming forward. Sends it out wide to Bowen. Cuts inside the defender. Beats him. Oh, McKay with the save. One on one. Bowen with a corner. Tonali. Oh, nearly gets to it. Here's Leo Connor. Bruno Gamares to Stephen O'Donnell. Back to Bowen. Mikey Johnston now is on a hat-trick. Mm, nothing doing. Oh, Jared Bowen smashed one just wide. 
Right. I think Jared Bowen is knackered. Uh, let's bring on Dembele. Give him a game. And... Mikey Johnston looks tired. Let's bring on Moise Keane to play on that left wing role. Two new fresh wingers. Dembele and Keane coming on for Bowen and Johnston. There's Afalabi giving it Camavinga. He looks for Miranda. Crosses. Dembele runs and gets on that. Gives it O'Donnell. Oh, it's over. 4 0 so far. Clyde have had one shot. Wasn't on target. We've had 31, 15 on target. 63% of the possession. Here's Dembele. Loses the ball, but tries to win it back. Leo Connor looks for Dembele, who nods it onto O'Donnell. Oh, Larson plays a sliding 1 2. Miranda! Oh, he's at the post. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Here's Miranda again taking the game to them. Cuts inside, crosses for Larson. Top corner, 10th goal of the season. Top corner. What a good header. 5 0. Miranda is at it. Yes, just like his dad. Hang on a second. Have they had another sub? No, okay. It's only three subs, not four. Here's O'Donnell. Camavinga to Tonali. Out to Miranda. Beats his man, he's going to hit it again. Oh, is it the post and come back to McKay? Both Dembele and Keane look uninterested. Ah. Gamara is going to have to sound to off the tackles. 5 0. Nice easy stroll to victory. There's Moise Keane to Camavinga. O'Donnell going to hit one 6 0. Second goal of the season for Stephen O'Donnell. And it's 6 0 to Celtic. Moise Keane now running down the left. Plays it inside. Grimara's at the back. It's a good steady game at centre half. Dembele takes his man on. Crosses for Moise Keane. And it's wide. Well, at least we're getting some match sharpness about the players, you know. That's pretty good. So Donald with this toy. In. And he'll give it to Dembele. He gets it back from him. Takes his man on. Crosses. Rumsby lashes that one away. And uh, here's Tonali putting one in. No one in the middle to get to it. Leo Connor does pick it up and finds O'Donnell. And he does a kind of Decanio style volley over. Well, 6 0. I'd say that's a bit of a uh, bit of a pasting. So we've done pretty well. My efforts were excellent. Well done, lads. We're through past the fourth round. Okay, so we go into the fifth round. Lennon says Celtic aren't as good as they think. Danny Lennon. Cheeky bastard. Miranda on form. Praise him. 
We just beat him 6 0. Cheeky git. Right, finances. Uh, it's not not kicked in yet, the wages, but it will do. Ryan Fredericks. Fee, 4.7 million. Another 1.3 million after 20 games at 6 million quid. Go on then. It's 28 year old, we're going to have to. Um, yeah, that, that gives us Ralston, O'Connor and O'Donnell. So it gives us three right backs. We don't need four. Ryan Fredericks does need to go. Brings in a bit more money. Oh crap. He got 15% of the transfer fee. They're nothing but bitter rantings of a beaten manager. No point talking about Danny Lennon. Right, finances. Budget adjustment. Okay, so... Why won't it let me put any more into wages? So the wage budget is 993 grand. We're now paying 964 grand. So we're 30 grand under rather than 70 grand over. And we've got 7 million quid in the bank now. So that's good. Um, so I think I've sorted out the finances. Uh, quite a few players have gone out on loan as well though. That was the other thing. Um, so Andre and Nana as you see here. Um, fantastic keeper. He's on international duty till the 7th of February with Cameroon. Um, amazing keeper. 6 foot 4. Big strong lad. Um, he's going to be an absolute legend for us. For the next 10 years, he is our keeper. Just that simple. 141 appearances for Ajax, conceded 25 goals. Um, that's some record for a keeper, that is. Um, he only concedes a goal every five games. Or every five and a half games. That's just amazing. So, Andrea Nana has joined us. Um, he's got a contract till... Uh, 2025 big long deal so he has cost us 35 million quid um, that is all the money that we had at that time so and we're having to pay his wages as well while he's not here which is kind of sucks um, let's see setting new attendance low against Clyde 16,378 all right so yeah there there we are seven million in the bank now um 30 grand under wage budget so we're managing it well we're doing fine so i think with hamilton academicals who are bottom of the league in the next game and then we're playing uh, Ross County, Hibernian and Aberdeen. Um, I think what I might do is just skip to the Hibs and Aberdeen game uh, for tomorrow's video. So, I will love you and leave you. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you again to Reese Dale, David Anderson, Mr Monkey, Spence the Cutter, Martin Bailey and James Murray for watching. Uh, it's much appreciated. Um, just six of you who have just been fully supportive. I know there's like 60 or 70 people that are watching the Celtic series. So if you want to be part of it, you want to be part of the coaching staff, drop me a message in the comments. Uh, if you've watched the video this long, you've earned your place in the squad as a coach or as a scout, and I'll put you in there. So let me know, and I will uh, sort it out for the next game. Take care of yourself. Thanks for watching. See you all again.